Well, I am sorry if you hear any beeping. My neighbor has a smoke alarm that is apparently low on battery, and he's out of town for a few days, so I'm just having to deal with it. I'm BB Nasty. Welcome. We're in between uh, seasons for our league, and this is about the dr how things a recap of how things finished and the upcoming draft. Do me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel if you dig it. Midfield Runners Cup F1 League. We've got two divisions. Uh, we're coming up on the third season for Junior Division, twelfth season for the Main Division. Recapping season two for Midfield Runners Cup Junior. Brody J362 won it with one win, 212 points. Congratulations, champion. Mud Duck 09 was in it to win it till the very end. They battled it all the way down to the final race and all through the final race. Also with a win, 203 points. D Austin 9 had five wins, almost sure to get drafted, 150 points. MG 4 wins, 145 points in clutch. XD rounds out the top five, although Puddle also broke the 100-point Mark and Syra, Temptational Mike and ADA all had wins. That's right, eight different winners. It was a great season for that. These guys are trying to get drafted into the main division. Now, the main division uh, saw Vols 88-40 win the championship for the fourth time, third time in a row. This is season 11. Uh, just... Really, really great season. 50 points clear of King. Six wins to King's four to Cholo's two, who was in third with 193 points. Issa and 11 to round out the top five, also with one win, and Drank with a win back there in seventh place. So six different winners. is It's a pretty good uh, distribution for midfield runners' cup. So all, all in all, both divisions, a lot of winners. Uh, a lot of close battles for different positions in the midfield and the rear. So the top 10 here, that's the left-hand column. Those guys all earned a number one seat in Midfield Runners' Cup for Season 12, and we'll be doing a draft this Tuesday, 9 p.m. on Vols 8840's Twitch. That's lowercase Vols 8840, and I'll get into more about how that'll work because Marvel races are involved, and it should be a fun night. Uh... But we're going to go ahead and take um, a look at the constructors. Uh, and McLaren was on top. Vols 8840 with Reaper 2 quick. Six wins. Zero DNFs. The only team to not have any DNFs. 294 points. I'm sure those DN the zero DNFs contributed. Uh, Vols has been with every constructor since we've been doing the constructors. He's won all uh, three constructors championships that we have run. Two with me and now one with... Reaper. Mercedes was second, close behind. This went down to the final race. 5-6-2 King and Guitar Hero 1-2-3-4. Guitar Hero is the only uh, second seat driver to score in the top 10 in points and earn himself a first seat next season. So congratulations, Guitar Hero. Four wins to them, four DNFs. Ferrari ended up third with Cholo Swag and Mud Duck 09. Two wins, five DNFs, and 210 points. Then it was Alpine, Red Bull, Alpha Tauri, Aston Martin, Haas, Alpha Romeo, and Williams. All right, the draft, the draft, the draft, the draft. Well, those top 10 drivers have already picked their teams. Here they are. Don't forget, if you want to watch the draft live, it'll be happening on Twitch Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, the way it works is there'll be marble races, and, uh, you get a certain amount of marbles, the same amount you would get uh, points in an F1 race. So Vols won the championship. If you win an F1 race, you get 25 points, so he gets 25 marbles. Plus, however many wins you had over the season, he had 6, therefore 31 marbles. King earned 22 marbles. That's 26.7% chance of Vols taking the first draft pick, 19% for King, and 14.7% for Cholo. Only one marble to Rush Puppy at 0.9% because there will be 116 marbles in the very first race. We will remove a mar uh, your marbles. Whoever, say, uh, say Cholo gets the first draft pick, his 17 marbles will be removed for the next round and there will be nine rounds to establish the pecking order uh, I'm gonna get into uh, a little bit more about the uh, the marble um, races here and 
it's we we did a um we did before I get into my draft predictions that is we did a, f- a few test runs of the marble races they work great um I think it'll be fun the the first race the very first one we did um is a boy who only had an 11.2 percent chance um took it took the first round draft pick and rush ended up his marble ended his one marble ended up fifth out of 116 so that just goes to illustrate this really could be anybody's uh first round draft pick and especially uh second third fourth if uh you know the big guys are removed early um so my predictions yeah so i there are 18 i believe off the top of my head might be 19 um people who are eligible from the main division this season um, to be drafted this season. Uh, these are my predictions for the top 12, which remember only 10 will get drafted. So I've got a cutoff there, but I think there's a really good chance uh, that AD gets drafted and a really good chance that Mike gets drafted, which will probably bump maybe one of the new guys. Um, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Check in to, uh, to see how the draft goes and all that good stuff. So both divisions run the same schedule except uh, the junior division runs on Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the main division runs on Thursdays, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you're looking at the main division schedule, so just take two days off, and I'll put it on screen here in a moment for the junior division as well, just to help you guys out. Um, but here's the schedule. Miami, Saudi Arabia, Imola, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, that's uh, going to be Monza, Canada, Spain, Singapore, Japan, Australia, USA, Mexico, France, Brazil, and UAE. And we will be racing in the the same tracks in the same weeks uh, as the ma- as the real teams in real life, uh, where we can. Uh, our schedule overlaps as best we could. UAE, we will be finishing our season 12 at the same time that they'll be finishing their 2022 season in real life that week in the uh, United Arab Emirates. So that'll be fun all the way in November to look forward to. Hopefully this is a great season. Um, and I, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll yak at y'all later. What do we have? Uh, we've got coming up. Oh, like, subscribe. Check out UncleEddieSeasoning.com, league sponsor. We have a Discord server. It's called the Race Hub. Uh, you know, hit us up on there. Check it out. Link is down in the description, as well as a link to my PayPal if you're feeling generous and want to help me out and the league indirectly as it helps me make these videos. Excuse me. Uh, So yeah, I love you all and happy July, everybody.